Last week, Montgomery High School announced that Freddie Dunkel is their new head of football coach. Uh, yeah, you all know Freddie. Uh, the news coming via his social media. He, and shortly after that hit, well, there's his offensive coordinator, uh, DeMarco Sampson. What do you know? Both guys join me on the sports rail. You know, that would have been nice to have a little heads up a day before everybody and say, hey, uh, here's a hot scoop. I'm going to be the next head football coach at Montgomery. Thanks for the heads up. Yeah, yeah. Um, I had the um, the higher ups tell me give me specific orders to not announce anything till Monday of this week. Rules are made to be broken, Freddie. Yeah, uh, yeah. I didn't want that to be my first uh, mistake. <laughs> <laughs> not the easiest of challenges. Uh, even in, I don't care where you coach nowadays, it's a, it's a tough deal to be a head football coach at the high school level. Montgomery has some challenges. Uh, why why are you the guy for the job? Um, I think because I have the, um, the, the knowledge of uh, learning from the past and the present and, um, you know, putting kids first and, uh, you know, having a d detailed program um, where we can get the kids to be successful. So your first smart move, that guy right there, yes, who uh, I think, is it safe to say you share his passion for giving back? Yeah, uh, I, I sh I'm sure you want to be in the big chair one day, but w what's going to be the flavor of the Montgomery offense? Well, we're going to play smash mouth football, first and foremost. For we're, a guy who likes to air it out, yeah, that's got to be a well, tough, uh, tough thing to come out of your mouth. Well, uh, when you're a coach, you know, you don't have the luxury of we're asking for the ball. So you have to, <laughs> you have to do, what you, you do what you know how to do. Make sure you, um, you know, make sure you're securing the win. Both you guys were on Drew's staff at Hilltop, Drew Wesley. Uh, can you tell us what you learned from him specifically that makes you ready for this to branch out from uh, what was going on in Lancerland? Um, I would say the, the love for the kids. Um, Drew did a great job in uh, running this program and doing everything for the kids. Um, every dime that went into the program went right back to the program. Um, so he did a great job with that. And I think the selling point, if I'm in your shoes, to any kid who wants to maybe considering playing football, for both of you, is, hey, we know what it takes to get to the Mesa because we did it. Mm -hmm. And people there answer my phone calls still. Is that, is that part of your pitch when you have kids that are thinking about what sport they're going to play or what school they're going to attend? Oh, yeah, um, that's, that's, you know, that's, that's definitely a big part of it. You know, just to, to say that we went there and we put in the time and the blood, sweat, and tears that, you know, so many athletes talk about when they get to the high level. Yeah, that's definitely one of our recruiting tools. And I think especially that since we're from the neighborhoods, you know, we're, we're in a five-mile uh, radius. We grew up in the same neighborhoods they did. Um, so they can see that, you know, if Coach did it, then so can I. Yeah, there's going to be a subliminal message delivered that, I mean, you guys are authentic. Yeah. And a lot of coaches are posers. You guys, yeah, uh, no. I mean, let's, let's just, you know, they don't have your life experience, which mm -hmm. makes you immediately identifiable. Uh, can I ask one, I, I mean, being that we're talking Aztecs, I'm talking mm -hmm. to a pair of Aztecs. Do you guys have a horse in the Aztec Stadium race? Do, do you follow that at all? Do you even care about it? Um, what I care about is that our Aztecs have somewhere to play. Um, I mean, that's the number one thing is that we have a stadium now. I want the best for San Diego State, obviously. Um, I think, you know, having a higher education, building, the, building it as, you know, expanding the college is, you know, I will pick my horse and I will say San Diego State. So you are the friends of San Diego State, yes. I'm guessing, is the... But the, I also, um, I, I don't mind soccer. You know, I don't... <laughs> we have like a, soccer, right? Yes, we have a, uh, we, we got in, we have a girl, so our, our kicker is a girl. And she's one of the best. She's one of oh, the there's best. there's a story. Keep that down the download. Yeah. We'll do that for week one. She's one of the best soccer players uh, in Montgomery history and has the most goals so far, and she's just a junior. Very cool. And one other issue. I've already put you on the hot seat. The mascot. Your, your yeah. Monty Montezuma. Yours is fine. The one at, on, the, on the Mesa is being reined in to the yeah. point where it's almost going to become a character. Uh, what, which one of those petitions would you have signed? The one that wanted it reined in or the one that wanted to keep it the way it was? And look at some of the video Rick Wills found here. This is, I think, the original Monty Montezuma ceremony. This dates back, like... Man. That's crazy. Yeah, so things have changed yeah. over a half century or more. Yeah, you know, I would, you know, me, myself, and as Freddie, we, we played for the Chula Vista Aztecs, and then we went on to the San Diego State Aztecs. And now we're back at that, you know, with, as an Aztec. So to change anything about San Diego State, I, I mean, I wouldn't before. I, I wouldn't put my vote in on it. 
All right, Freddie, I'll, I'll, I'll let you uh, be, be near the head coach. You can't get political. Uh, you just signed a contract to become the director of the NFL Leagues, United and Chula Vista. Tell us why that program is going to help your other program. Um, or, or is it? Are they two separate deals? Well, they're 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 two they're two separate deals that are 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 going to work together. Um, and, and the main thing is is that we give kids a platform to just be active. Um, the, the numbers in Pop Warner are down. We everybody knows it. I mean, everybody that has a Pop Warner organization, if you're not one of the top, you're you're, you're down. Um, so what can we do to continue the game, to, to progress the game? And so this is an opportunity that we have with our buddy Lionel Hamilton, another former Aztec. Former Aztec. Um, you guys that, are thick of thieves, aren't you? Yeah, <laughs> so, so they partnered up with the, with the, with the NFL alumni. And, um, you know, we're, we're in charge of, uh, DeMarco and I actually are in charge of the branch down in Chula Vista, which Chula Vista is considered Chula Vista, um, San Isidro, Imperial Beach, kind of have a whole uh, region. I can't, I can't, you know, you both guys are near and dear to our hearts for obviously reasons. You're, you're a big reason why our high school football show made it to the 20-year mark. Silver picks and finalists, both of you. We have video. I oh. want to see if you remember what you were. This is uh, 2001. Mm -hmm. This would be your, where are you off? I'm oh. right next to Reggie. Yeah. <laughs> did, did you have any doubt as to who was going to win that one? No. <laughs> no. I, what I did know is that if it was up to the voters, I knew that Chula Vista would pull me through in the South Bay. Um, but it wasn't up to the just the South Bay uh, voters. Yeah, so it was uh, countywide. Oh. Uh, there's Reggie uh, in one of oh. his great... By the way, Reggie Bush, it's Reggie Bush week, and we'll talk more about that on Thursday. He's uh, doing his deal. Uh, you're, you came two years later, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You were P.T. Gates's year. Yeah. It was a you, now, on the other hand, were second in the ballot, I yeah. believe. What do you remember for your night? Right back here in this... Building hasn't changed right, much. Right, has yet. not changed. Well, you know, for, I mean, you know, for me, you know, me and P.T., We've always been good friends, so it was just a good experience to, you know, spend time with my friend and you know compete against each other. And you were a I didn't second. know I lost by that much, but <laughs> but you know it, it was just a good time. You know, um, when I when I look at my life and I think back on times like that, you know, you have to you have to smile. You know, I, I we're, we are putting the entire video archive of all oh, twenty man. years of the show oh, wow. up in the cloud. Tell me, you guys, that that's something you'd be. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I mean, to, if you put the bloopers up of those uh, see, skits, those yeah. would probably be funnier <laughs> yeah. than everything. Uh, before, uh, before we let you go, it was uh, last year about this time the HD shoot to cure uh, deal was going oh, on. Oh yeah. Run this bit. <laughs> we we tried to smuggle you in as one of our floor directors. Here at KUSI, he's uh, been there for 20 years working as our production manager, Mr. Vince Douglas. Wait, do we have the file footage of who Vince Douglas is? I know we have. That's Vince Douglas. This interview is over, Brandon Stone. Turn Paul. off the camera. Turn off Paul. the camera right now. Paul. Do you remember that day? Yeah, I do. I do. We, we finished ninth. Yeah. You Just know, got, we got a little sloppy at the end. Yeah. It's all right. Get a little shooter's touch next time. All right. Uh, gentlemen, uh, we wish you all the best. Freddie, uh, I suspect we'll be doing this again in the very near future. Football season is right around the bat. Yeah, right around. All right. Freddie Dunkel, DeMarco Sampson, everybody.